Hi, I'm Tom Fusillo, and I'm from Mr. Friendly Science Period 4, and I'm going to show you today how to make a Punnett Square. Okay, a Punnett Square is used to see what genes an offspring might have by using the parent genes. Okay, now, to make the Punnett Square, you need to start out by making a square. And then, you make one square, and you have one square, and now you're going to make it into two rectangles. And then you're going to make it into four squares by adding another line. Right. Okay. So now we have all our we have our Punnett square, you can, as you can see. And so now we have to set up the genes. I have some genes down here. Don't worry about that empty box. We're going to put mom's alleles on her side of the Punnett square up here on the top. Make it a little bigger. So, now we're going to put another one down there. Up there, I mean. Make it bigger. There we go. Now, we're going to say that dad's genes, dad's going to be heterozygous. So, clone that. There's his dominant allele. I'll make his re recessive allele. Okay. Sorry that took a little long. So, dads are going to go on this side of the planet square. So now, we'll do the upper left box first. Mom's gene above that box is a dominant allele. So, that that's going to go in that box. And so is Dad's allele. Oh, that's right here. Okay. So now we have one box done. So, what we're going to do next is the next box. So, as before, the B above will go in there. And the B next to will go in there. If you haven't noticed, a Punnett square is really the same thing as what some math teachers call an array in math. So... Now the la the bottom left box, this B is next to it, so I'll put that there. And this B is next to it, so we'll put this down here. Okay, last box. This B is above, so we'll put that there. And this B is next to it, so we'll put this B there. Okay, we have our filled out Punnett square, and all of the gene comb the uh, gamete combinations, gene combinations in the boxes. Those are the possible outcomes for the brown eye color, which is what the B stands for, for your offspring. So your offspring could either be homozygous dominant in these two, or heterozygous. So that's how you make a Punnett square and fill it out. So, once again, this is Tom Fusillo, and I'll see you next time.